here's an example of using the problem solving process. Here's a picture I, I took in the supermarket of a small box of supplegen and a big box. And I was wondering to myself, is it better to buy these three small boxes or to buy one big box? First, I need to understand or identify clearly what I want to know. I want to know which one is the better buy. What does that mean? Well, it means the one that is more value for money. More value for money. In other words, I'll get more of the milk, more of the supplegen for less money. That's the better buy. Now, what do we already know? Well, here uh, we have some good information down here. Right? It's a one liter box of supplegen. So for this big box, I know that it holds one liter. Right? And what else do I know? I know that it's for $557. So it costs $557.59. What about the small box? What do we know about it? Well, let's see. I know here that it holds 330 milliliters, right? And I also know that it costs $200.91. Is there anything else that I know? Well, I know that if I'm going to find a better buy, I'll need to compare them. And it's better if I compare them in the same units. So. I can rewrite this one liter as a thousand milliliters because a thousand milliliters makes one liter. That way it will be easier to compare the small box to the big box. So those are all of the things that we know. Now, here's the fun part. What can I do? What's my plan? Well, if I'm going to compare and see which one is more value for money, it would be better if they were on some sort of level playing field. That way I can compare them more easily. So that means I need to get the sizes for the small box to be as close to the size for the big box as possible to figure out if it's, if it's good value for money. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it in a table. So let me write that right here. So for the small box, I'm going to write the size for it which is in milliliters and I'm also going to write the cost which is in dollars okay drop my little table and I'm going to try and get that 330 milliliters as close to a thousand milliliters as possible so let me reason it out one small box is 330 milliliters and it costs two hundred dollars and ninety one cents that means two small boxes is going to be two times 330, which is 660. And that's going to cost, based on my calculation, uh, $401.82. Right? What about three boxes? Well, that's going to hold 990 milliliters. And it's going to cost $602.73. So you can check that on your calculator. Now, it's not, it's not exactly a thousand milliliters like the big box, but look at this. For the big box, 1,000 milliliters costs $557. For the small boxes, three of them cost, nine, cost $602.73 for 990 milliliters. So can you tell which one is the better buy? That's right the big box because in the big box you are getting more milliliters of supplegen for less money yeah because you get a thousand for five hundred and fifty seven dollars and fifty nine cents so that means the big box is the better buy now how can we know if i am right well, we could use the same idea we could try to work it in a different way at first we put them on a level playing field for the milliliters. So we could do it the other way around. We could make the dollar the level playing field. What, what, what do I mean by that? So let me come down here. Let's test it down here. So let me write it. So the one liter box is the better buy. 
right? And now I'm going to test my idea out because I just really want to make sure that I'm right. Now, if I make the dollar the level playing field, let me write down what I already know. A thousand milliliters is for $557.59. Okay? That means for $1, I would divide a thousand milliliters by $557.59. So that means it would be a thousand milliliters divided by five hundred and fifty seven dollars fifty nine cents. In our calculator here, if we put that, that's going to be a thousand divided by five fifty seven point five nine. Oops, point five nine, and that's one point seven nine three. I'm just going to call it. I'm going to round it off there. So that's 1.793, look at the units, milliliters per dollar, okay? Now if I do it for the other one, if I do it for, let me put a little line, for the 330 milliliters for $200.91, because that's for the small box, then for $1, it would be... 330 divided by two sorry 330 milliliters divided by 200 dollars and 91 cents and now if i put that in my calculator then no 330 divided by 200 as 91 cents that's 1.642 let's call it 1.643 milliliters per dollar now let's make sense of this. What is this telling us? This is telling us that for the one liter box, you get 1.793 milliliters per, per dollar versus the small box, which is 1.643 milliliters per dollar. So the big box gives us more milliliters per dollar. Thus, that makes us sure that it has to be the better buy.